Hey, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Fastball, and today you're going to learn how to do Joel Embiid's half whirl move. All right, so Joel Embiid had a little bit of a coming out party, and he's got some of the best footwork when it comes to big men in the NBA. So today what I wanted to do is I wanted to teach you his half whirl move so you can add it into your game. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a guard or if you're a post, you can use this move all over the court. So I highly, highly recommend it because it's super effective. So it all starts for Joel Embiid when he was out at the three-point line, out here. So he caught and he began a right-handed drive towards the free throw line. So it all starts like that. Now you can do this move on the paint, you can do it the 15 footer, you can technically even do it from three if you want to, it's a little bit harder. But the whole idea is it's almost like a fake spin move, right? You're doing a half world to get your defender to move and then you're getting an open look out of it. So on this one, Joel comes through and as he's getting ready, he uses his last dribble to pound him into a half spin move, right? This is really important. If you just kind of do a weak pickup on this dribble, it's gonna be really hard to sell that that's actually looking like a spin move, right? So on that last dribble, as you get to your spot, you're going to plant your inside foot and pound that dribble and launch into a half spin move, as I like to call it, or a half whirl. So as you come through now, instead of going all the way around on your spin, you're going to plant when your back is facing towards the basket. So you're planting just like this, and then you're coming back around the direction that you just went. I like to think like you're rewinding yourself, right? You're going half back around, just like that. Now what's nice about this move is a lot of times on this half whirl, it's going to slide your defender that same direction, right? So then as I front pivot, now I've got about two or three feet of open space. And from here, I can either step through, I can shoot a jumper. It all depends on what you want to do. So one little kind of little key that helps out is if you add a little bit of a ball hang at the same time. So as you come through, if you can hang the ball out so the defender can see it away from your body just a little bit, sometimes it'll make them reach forward or reach over. And then that way you can get boom, big time separation coming around. Just like that. So again, you can do it either direction. If I'm driving left, I'm just gonna plant my inside foot and pound at the same time. Same thing, right? Now, one thing that you notice as Joel Embiid did this, he was going to his right. And so that's a little bit harder to shoot a jump shot out of, especially if you're a right-handed shooter, because as I come through, it makes it really hard to get my feet around to shoot with that tilt. So you notice that he used what I call a leg drift. As he comes through, boom, he comes up and he shoots his shot. He lets his right leg drift forward towards the basket and that acts as a counterbalance, right? As that right leg comes forward, it releases the shoulder and neck tension. That way he gets a smooth, fluid shot. So again, you can use this move anywhere. As you come through, bam, hit him. You can even add like a little hezzy, a little head shake if you want to, and then come back around. It's a perfect move, gets a great look every single time. Now, if we're doing the same move down closer in the paint, you can do the exact same thing, but as you come through, you maybe have other op options, right? You can step step through you could shimmy it hold it up fake and then spin back the same direction and finish there's so many different options with this move it's one of my favorites to use all over the court so i highly recommend you add it into your game as well all right so if this video helped you out go ahead and hit that like button and then head to the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you want to see next we're a channel for the people by the people and i run pretty much everything off a request so leave it down below and hopefully i get to it and if you're new to Shot Mechanics, you're gonna wanna do two things. Number one, click that subscription button down below because we put out videos every week and they're all gonna get you better, I guarantee it. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is click the link in the description and get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This is a scoring workout that's probably gonna increase your scoring average the very first time you use it because it's a whole different way to train, so I highly recommend you check that out. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.